apologize for the noise. There's all kinds of things going on in here today. And I uh, wanted to take this little piece of bowenite, or actually it's just a high grade serpentine, we'll call it that for now. I don't really know how to classify it beyond that because there's a lot of things going on with it. But it is just absolutely translucent and jet green. Super green and it has all of these crystals in it which you can see going down into it because it's so clear. So I want to take a big slab off of the base of this and polish it up and see, uh, see what it looks like, take a better sample. crystals down in there and wait till I backlight this for you. That's our big piece of stock still. Put that there. These are the two samples. And this stuff is so translucent green. I'm gonna go get some light on this. Let me show you this. This is some of the highest grade stuff that I have found in a while. And you see how thick that is? It's so translucent. That's a thick cougar rock. It's got lots of beautiful little crystals down in there, so we're about to polish this up and see how much more light we can let into it. Here's this piece. It's still a thick piece. Yeah. Okay, so let me work on this and kind of shape it up. We're going to kind of freeform it and just bring out its beauty. So we'll start uh, probably with a 200 grit on the beaver. So yeah, here is this big slab. Look at the translucency of it already. I'm telling you, this is such good stuff. If this is an actual nephrite or a jade, I apologize. Um, I'm real hesitant to call it sometimes. It's very heavy and very hard and very clear. So I'm just calling it a serpentine because that would still be true. Um, but not really a bowenite creature. And again, this was in another vehicle, this large boulder when I first found it. But this is us taking a slab off. So, to keep this short, I'm basically going to kind of make this into the shape that it is, but more of a cab, I think, as I'm sitting here pondering it. It's got fractures on this side, but they don't go all the way through because, or as far as I can tell at this point, 
which doesn't really matter anyways. I mean, this is a big old object. We're just doing it to be able to look at, like a specimen, you know. I want to go ahead and bevel this side. I'm going to leave this side um, flat with a little beveled edge that goes around the whole thing. And then we'll sand it and shine it to as much transparency as we can get. But this side, I'm going to go ahead and take care of these big chunks that were taken out of it. Because remember, this was the bottom of a big old cobble, basically. You know, so I want to uh, slope up all these edges so it's kind of like a huge cab or something. And that'll make some parts a little bit thinner so the light will go through, but it'll also take care of all these sharp edges um, that could fracture off later or whatever. And then we're just going to sand it and sand it and sand it through the stages, then buff it, and we'll have a good little specimen of. What's going on in here? I can't wait to see that looking through the glass. Okay, I'm actually right back and what I think I'm going to do is take another slice. I'm going to do another thick one like this because this stuff is so much more transparent than the other serpentines and bonites that I've collected that um, I, it's translucent enough to be able to cut it super thick like this and have the light still pass through it. So. Um, I'm wanting to do a big one and kind of do the same thing with it, but this one has the fractures because it was close to the end and these big chunks, so I think I might still continue to do that, but as far as this video, I think we're going to go ahead and go out and take the next slice up in this, hoping to, you know, um, let the, you know, usually the deeper you go into the stone, the more the fractures will kind of run out in it or you have a chance of them running out because uh, sometimes they're caused from surface bashing, from it bashing around so deep inside the stone it can be uh, more pure and less fractured. Is one way of kind of looking at it. So let's go take another slice and do what I was saying. We'll go ahead and bevel it all up and then take it through its polishing process. And yeah. And then check out the translucency of that with these crystals in there. Okay. Enough babble, let's go do this. So this is the second slab off of here and I have uh, went ahead and shaped it. We are up to the 1000 grit. And there's a little less fracturing, but I am kind of struggling to get all the scratches out of here, so that's the battle right now. See. Eventually here we'll get this to buffing stage and then we can see these beautiful crystals inside here in all their glory. So this is how the slab turned out. Of course I could have probably done a better job at polishing. Um, I keep finding that when I get down to the finish I can see little Mars that I couldn't see in previous stages because it's too rough until you get to the final. So. I think that's one of the tricks is to just go back, but look at the depth of these crystals going off into this green serpentine material. You see that? It's just boom. So I got it to that much of a polish, which is pretty good. We can take it a little bit higher with the buffer. Um, we can just kind of put it by the uh, lip of the lamp to start with and you can see the degree of translucency. It's it's uh, much more translucent than a lot of the other bowenite and stuff that we have worked with. You can see that even from the side, and that's a thick old slab too, sometimes you have to cut it pretty thin to make it glow, but even from the side that's just taking some light off the lamp straight down into it. And you can see the purity and the translucence of it. That's some nice material. We're going to go with the good old backlight in here. And of course a lot of the crystals will disappear. And what's interesting is some of these actually show up golden when backlit. I think this is one of my favorite pieces that I've found though because of, uh, because of all the, uh, the interaction between the dark green material and then the crystals themselves diving off into it. Gives you a visual clue as to the depth and translucency. And we still have this big old chunk. It's a heavy, hard chunk of stuff. That's very heavy. That's like jade heaviness. And I would say that this 
might even be the low end of a 7 on here. So, um, very, uh, very hard for serpentine. So let's get some light on here. And if you get a chance, check your subscriptions. If you are not subscribed, subscribing to this channel is free. I appreciate it tremendously. It really, really helps me and the channel out. So, um, and I've even received notice from people that somehow they got unsubscribed. So just make sure if you are subscribed that you are still subscribed. And if you're not, consider clicking the little button and raise my numbers up. And I, uh, I surely would appreciate it. And instantly... We just have like crazy greens and you can see there's other vessels that we couldn't see. I think those are actually the crystals. You can see their form in here. So that's what makes up a nephrite jade is that actinolite or uh, tremolite. So I was thinking those might be tremolite crystals in there. This might be like the actinolite green. And then the tremolite white that we're seeing all mixed together to make a nephrite basically that is not completely mixed or that had the crystals uh, more predominantly exposed in it but just look at the translucence in that piece it is really really high high translucence it's beautiful it's got the uh, inclusions in there, the yellows, you can kind of see the whites as I pull back and it gets a glare on it. And as I backlight it, they kind of disappear. It's very hard to do all these motions at once. But yeah, pretty beautiful I think. So that was the goal of this little video, is just kind of get a nice piece of this slabbed off because I had done the main thing, the main stone, I had polished it up. But I had not taken a slab off of it, so... There we go. Like I say, that's a pretty thick little slab there, so... Look at that material. Compared to the other, um, some of the other serpentines, bowenite mixes that you see me work with, I have to take pretty thin. This is... It's a thick old slab of stuff, and it's just very, very see-through. Like how it even comes out the edges. So thank you for joining me on this quest for details into the center of this stone. Um, we'll go ahead and wrap the video up and try and do more of these little short, semi-short cuttings of everything that we've been collecting so you can get a good look at it. So um, be sure to pay attention to upcoming videos for all of those because we're going to be going through the buckets and through the stone garden out in the yard and looking for ones that stand out or that um, we had questions about in the videos and try to do closer looks at a lot of them. So expect some cutting and detailing videos coming up. There's another look at those crystals. So, until next time, please take care of yourselves and enjoy the adventure of life, and I will see you on down the road.